everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amber Rochelle. If you're new here, I make new videos every single Wednesday about motherhood and lifestyle. And today's video is going to be tips on helping your baby walk. When my baby was eight months and one day old, she took her very first steps. So I wanted to go ahead and share my experiences and my advice with you so that way you can help your baby walk. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. my daughter took her very first steps by herself when she was only eight months old in one day and I'll go ahead and insert a clip so that way you can see her taking her very first steps come here, come here. <laughs> <laughs> oh and the very first thing that I did to help her get to that point was doing little baby exercises with her which I know sounds really really strange but honestly it really helped like when she was learning how to sit up I would do little core exercises with her and when she was learning how to crawl I did little arm exercises with her and it really helped and she was able to achieve those goals very quickly so I decided to do the same thing with her learning how to walk so one of the leg exercises that I often did with her was I would have her lay on her back and put her feet on the palms of my hand and then I would just kind of gently push on her feet until her knees touched her belly and then she would just push off and push against my hands and that really helped her kind of get stronger leg muscles to help support her when she would stand. Another exercise that we did was I would hold her hands and kind of hold her in like a squatting position and then I would let her push up with her legs to a standing position. So she was kind of doing little baby squats. And that was another exercise that really helped. I think those are primarily the only two exercises that we really did with her, but we did those often so that way her leg muscles could grow and get stronger. We also just kind of held her hands and let her stand so that way she could hold her own body weight on her legs. And that also helped her build the strength that she would need to later learn how to walk. Another thing that really also helped her learn how to walk was getting a really good push walker. We did also have a traditional baby walker, which I'll insert pictures of, the one that she has, but I really do think that the actual push walker was what ultimately helped her learn how to walk faster and better. The traditional baby walker was good because it allowed her to kind of get that feeling of being able to move around on her own, but my daughter was pretty clever and she learned that if she ran in the baby walker and just kind of lifted up her feet, then she would just glide and so that was her main thing. She just wanted to run and then lift her feet up and glide. She just kind of depended on the seat being able to hold her so she didn't really try to support herself fully with her own legs because she knew that the seat would do it for her. But with the push walker there's no seat there to support you so she had to kind of learn how to support herself and not depend on the seat to do it for her. So this right here is the push walker that we had and that we used for her. It kind of has like its own speed control or that's what I call it at least. So on the back wheels it has a position to where you can put it in either number one or number two which basically locks and unlocks the back wheels to kind of help it slow down a little bit when your baby is first learning how to use it. This is what it looks like when it's locked. It, it, it does turn but it's also very difficult to turn versus when it is unlocked the wheels are very easy to go. So when it's unlocked obviously it's going to go a lot faster versus when it is locked. So we started her out with it being in the locked position so that way it wouldn't go as fast and we also started doing it with her on carpet versus hardwood because the carpet allowed it to also go a little bit more slow than if it were on hardwood. This is also really cool because this part actually detaches and comes off. So if she did want to play with this or take this on the go, whatever the case may be, then we can just pop this off and she can play with it wherever she wants. It just pops back on like that. So we started using the push walker with her, I believe around seven months old, and that's around the same time that we started doing the leg exercises with her. She learned how to crawl at six months, and pretty much as soon as she learned how to crawl, she wanted to learn how to walk. So we started doing the leg exercises with her, and then we introduced her to the push walker. So that walker is a really great tool to have when you're trying to get your baby to learn how to walk. And I think that it is more helpful and more valuable than getting a traditional baby walker. And everything that I talk about will be linked down in the description below. So if you are interested in these products, then go ahead and check out the description box to find all of the links. So this is the next product that I'm going to be talking about. I really do think that this is the product that helped her the most. So this is a little baby walking harness that you put them in to help them learn how to walk. 
So their two legs would come out through these side holes and then their arms go up here. And then this is where, you know, their head would be. And it does come with this detachable drool bib. So if your baby does drool a lot, then you can just pop this off and you can go ahead and throw it in the washing machine. But it's called the Happy Walk Baby Harness. And like I said, I'll have it linked down in the description box below. And then it does have these adjustable straps and then a bar up top for the parents to hold. So I would just put my baby in the harness, hold on to this, and it kind of looked like a leash which I know again sounds really bad but hey it helped her learn how to walk so it is what it is but I would just have her in there and then I would hold on to the bar I would hold it like this and then she would just kind of be walking in front of me and if she fell then I was able to catch her and in the beginning when she first started using this I would have to like actually hold her up and then gradually over time the more she used it was when I would just kind of like let the slack out and just let her hold her own weight and walk but if she did fall then I'll be right there to catch her so this really worked perfectly and I really did love it and I really do think that it helped a lot so while I'm already talking about the baby products that helped her learn how to walk I'm gonna go ahead and mention this last one which really came in kind of late in the game so this one is a little backpack and it's also a pillow so that way if your baby falls backwards then the pillow will help them not hurt themselves so this is what it looks like when it's on it does look kind of silly but also so super cute and so as you can see it has nice cushion for if the baby falls backwards so it's used for learning how to sit up when my daughter was learning how to walk she would literally be standing straight up and just fall straight backwards and she ended up hurting herself a lot I started using this again and it really helped a lot so that way she wouldn't get hurt anymore when she would fall directly backwards but I didn't start using this until I was comfortable with her kind of taking her own steps and at least going a little bit by herself and so that's when this one came into play or when I felt comfortable with her to start walking on her own that very first day that I just kind of like stood her there and let her walk and go I had this on her just in case she fell backwards and hurt herself so those are all the toys and tools that we kind of used to help her start walking something else that we did to help her learn how to walk was that we would hang toys on the side of her playpen if you saw my video from last week of me sanitizing and cleaning her toys and her playpen you'll see that we have like little hooks that go on the sides of her playpen that hold toys and I really do think that hanging the toys on the side of the playpen kind of helped to motivate her to stand up and to play with the toys and it also provided her some kind of leverage of something to like hang on to when she pulled herself up so I do think that that's also another trick that you can use to help motivate your baby to stand but we also did a lot of just regular walking practice with her. So like in the video where me and my husband were with her and she took her first steps, that's normally how we did it when my husband was here. We would have her start with one parent and take a couple steps and go over to the other parent. But since my husband is in the military and he went away for a while, I kind of replaced the second person with a couch. So I would just stand with her a couple feet away from the couch and then I'll have her take her own steps and then she would just kind of catch herself on the couch. And so once I saw that she was comfortable with whatever distance we were at, then I would just kind of slowly and gradually make more distance between where she started and with the couch. So that way each time she was walking a little bit further and further. And so we would spend maybe about 30 minutes every single day practicing like that. Also when I saw that she was getting way more comfortable with walking, I would let her walk beside me while I was holding one of her hands. So again, that way she would be walking on her own, but if she fell, then she would have me there to catch her since I was holding her hand. And instead of doing one hand, you can always hold both of their hands so that way you know that they are extra supported and you will definitely be able to catch them if they fall. So of course, we don't want our little babies to get hurt. So I made sure that I was always there with her or had the little backpack on her so that way she wouldn't get too hurt. But obviously accidents happen and it's okay. The baby is gonna fall and they're gonna get hurt, but it's totally fine. It's going to happen. But just make sure that you're taking precautions to prevent that from happening and from them getting to her. So I think a culmination of all of the products that I told you guys about and the little baby exercises and just making sure that we practice often. And I mean like 30 minutes to an hour every single day or really every single chance that we got. I really do think that that is what made her such a good walker. So she went from taking her very first steps at eight months and one day old to pretty much walking at nine months. She would still get kind of scared and only go a short distance, but she was still able to walk a pretty far distance on her own. And from there was completely walking on her own at 10 months old. And now since this little girl started walking, she won't stop. She's into everything. Um, so that's kind of the downside. If you do want your baby to learn how to walk, just be prepared because my daughter is so nosy and, and she just gets into everything. If I put a step counter on her, she probably will walk like 
like five six thousand steps a day like this little girl can go and she doesn't get tired she will walk all day if i let her so i really hope those tips helped you guys out i really do think that practice is key just make sure you're putting in the time and the effort and helping your little one walk and practice 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 and i think that they'll be walking in no time i really hope you guys enjoyed this video like i said in the beginning i put out new videos every single wednesday about motherhood and lifestyle and i hope you all are staying safe and healthy and i will see you guys next week bye